All right, guys, I just want to show you the 3-2 offense that we've been working on, the 32 offense. So I numbered the players. Point guards are 1 and 2. Forwards are 3 and 4. Center is 5. 1 and 2 are bringing the ball down. X's are defense. All right. So as we move down the court here, 4 and 5 are going to post up right down here on the post. So right on the line but moving in and out of the box so that they don't get called for three seconds. All right, that's going to draw a defender down here and a defender down here, at least. If they're running a 3-2 offense, you're probably, a, I'm sorry, a 2-3 defense, you're probably going to get a guy right there, too. All right, number three is going to come out here. One and two are going to continue to bring the ball down. Two is going to set up over here. As I mentioned, one's going to bring the ball down right there. And you're probably going to get defenders set up for a 2-3 defense in here. Um, or potentially even a man-to-man. -man. All right. So I'm just going to show you this real quick. So your options are to, when you pass, to one or two. Obviously, if four or five are sitting open, that's fine. We're going to pass to two. Okay, as one, I want you to cut down the middle. Okay, so I want you to run down through the middle, always looking back for this ball because you're for, you're right here, and this guy's moved out. You may be sitting wide open. Okay, most likely not though. You're gonna cut all the way through and come back around because three in the meantime, as you ran down, needs to run up here. Now you take his position, okay? When you get the ball, your options are two things, to pass or to drive, all right? You've got the ball, so most likely this guy is going to be here. These guys, this guy is going to have been drawn back because you were because number one was moving back, and this guy is probably going to be moved across, okay? So now's a great time for a re reversal. Back to three. Two's option is to cut to the basket. So two cuts down here. Okay. Open spot is on his side, right? So he cuts and goes back around to this side. Three decides whether to pass or drive. He still doesn't really have an open pass or an open drive. So he passes to one. Three now cuts down. He's going to go to the side that he didn't throw the ball on, which is going to be this over to this side, right? Because two moved up in here. And that's it. It just keeps rotating. So you just keep rotating positions, always moving towards the center. All right? So I'm going to show you this a little further. So two's got the ball at the top. Two passes to three, cuts in, one comes up. If you're doing this fast enough, two's now cutting around to fill that spot. Three can drive or pass back to one. Now, because we've got a, this guy pulled back because he was covering two, coming through here, this guy is going to pull up because of one, right? And this guy sees the ball pass to one, so he's moving over here. What does that allow three to do? Three's doing his cut right in through here. Boom. Drops it off right there. Goes in for a layup, right? Let me move these back. Get three back over here, two back over here. Okay? Your two guys that are posted up. Okay? You want to be boxing out. So what that means is you want to get this defender on the outside of you, if, if at all possible. Keep him out. Let him get in front of you there, but box him out from the thing. So, so now I'm going to pass to one or pass to three. One cuts in, has an open lane, right? Ball goes there. 
Now, what you've done is four and five have boxed these guys out. If he shoots and the ball comes off, who's in the position to rebound? One, four, five. Everybody's right in there. The other guys, the defenders are coming in behind, right, for rebounding. All right, one more time here. Here's the other thing that'll end up happening. Okay. So we got passed to three. One cuts in, works his way around, right? Two moved over here. All right. So in the process of that, what happened? So this guy probably dropped back. This guy's going to move up to, or move over here. This guy's going to try to move up here. And this guy's going to move over a little bit, right? one way or the other. Either he's going to get drawn around by one or he's going to get moved over here because he sees the ball moving over this way. So these guys are going to... Your guy's going to move over here and he's going to move over here. So what happens? So three can pass or drive. Does he have a drive? What happens if three goes in here? One, two, three, four defensive guys. One guy over here. There's three guys sitting over here with nothing going on. Watch this pass. To two. Two to five. Five's wide open in the hole, right? And who else is right there to, to rebound if they need to? Four can move right back in because the de defense has moved over this way. So that's, if you're doing these passes quick, I'm going to show you that really quick again, okay? So a quick pass. Get these guys moved back to where they would be. Okay, quick pass to three. Cut in. Move on around. Two comes in. Okay, he's coming around. Everybody just moved because they see the ball coming to this side. So they're all moving this way. This guy may be even moving up for one. All right, quick pass back here. There's the drive that's potentially open right down the middle here. So could two, two could take the ball. Go right down the middle. Or two does a quick drop off to five. Even better, this will work sometimes. Two goes to drive with the ball, right? But this guy moves in. So now you've got a quick dump off right there. Potentially even, this guy moves over there. Dump right back and in. But look who's down here to rebound. Four, two, and five. We've got three guys to rebound. All right. Hopefully you guys are getting this. When you're playing the, the one, two, or three positions, you're going to pass the ball and then cut. If you get the ball, your option is to drive into the basket if you see it open or to pass. The big thing with those passes is looking to the open man because four and five could be open. I don't want you looking all the way across court and passing the ball like this because you just passed over one, two, three defenders. Most likely that ball is never getting to three, okay? Remember when you get the ball, so if I, two passes to one goes for the cut, I do not want one dribbling to the center. Who's moving to the center? Number three is moving into that center position, okay? Here's the thing. The defenders move with the ball, right? So if they're moving this way because the ball's this way, if I dribble over here, how hard is it for those two defenders to follow me? Not hard at all, right? Ball moves the same speed as they can run because you're dribbling the ball. If I draw these guys over here now and I pass the ball, that quick pass right there leaves this wide open. Potentially even gets me a pass to my guy cutting, depending on how fast he cut through there, right? If he stalls for just a couple seconds, it could be this. Let me show you this real quick. Get our guys back here. 
Ball goes to one. Defenders move up, right? If you run this quick, this guy's cutting through. This guy moves over. Right back to him. Right down to that guy. Right? And where are all the defenders? They've all moved out over here. You know, this guy might move in. This guy may move in. But most likely we've got that open lane. And that's how we made all our points last week was when we drove right down the lane and laid it up. So, remember, and you've also got these two guys also. If you do miss that, hopefully these two guys are here to rebound. All right. Thanks, guys.